morning everyone happy sunday it's dr manjari and today i would love to talk about why self care is a must right we often talk about self care and how taking care of yourself is so important but it's something we all often ignore especially in times of stress right so you have to make self care a habit or a routine for yourself uh whether you're taking time to just you know catch up on sleep or create like healthy meals for yourself um or indulge in some activities that are completely decompressing and de-stressing you it is absolutely an essential it is a must and self care a lot of people are confused as to what exactly is self care so self care is any activity that you are deliberately indulging in in order to take care of your physical mental or emotional well being right so it is an activity you are actually choosing deliberately and that's going to support your physical body or emotional or mental or even spiritual well being right so i forgot the word spiritual but it's extremely important to feed yourself on all levels and nourish yourself on all levels right so make sure you take time for self care and let's talk a little bit because there's a lot of misconceptions about the word self care and also there's a lot of stigma associated with it so the misconception is that you know it it is any activity that you're doing and you know just because you enjoy it sometimes like cooking is self care for me because i love cooking meals that nourish myself and i also enjoy cooking as a therapeutic process to decompress right when i get stressed you usually find me in my kitchen whipping up like some amazing meals and absolutely loving the food that i make and i i, I am happy to say i am an awesome cook if you not tried the food that i've cooked you know uh you're missing something in your life so uh yeah so but for somebody else you know the same cooking can be stressful rather than stre- uh, self care right so if you're trying if you have no idea what you're cooking or if you know you find cooking extremely stressful because you've never cooked before or you absolutely hate it right and it is essential it is it is something it's really good to learn but if it stresses you out then it's not a part of your self care right so if going out in the nature you know is completely decompressing and it is self care to connect with the nature but if you're pushing yourself beyond limits right if you're pushing yourself uh, when you're extremely tired that is not self care and this is also very common with exercising people choose exercise as a tool to decompress because they don't have any other outlets for stress but if you are in the gym 7 days a week and working out extremely hard it is not self care right so something that you started to take care of yourself has now gone beyond limits beyond your physical capacity mental capacity and that itself can create issues in your body right so self care is any activity that fuels you right that nourishes you it is not something that's taking away from you that's the point i wanted to make right so it is something that's fueling you whether you're exercising three times a week or four times a week if you get enough rest and if the exercise is fueling you if it's giving you lots of energy if it's giving you lots of you know um uh, endorphins where you feel happy about yourself it is self care but if you are in the gym seven times a week or you know even more than that you know i know people who work out twice a day so if you are not taking enough rest and working out extremely hard in the gym then that that does not translate into self care so that's the other point that i wanted to make our uh, self care is also the key to living a balanced life right or a harmonious life it's extremely difficult to find balance in today's world for everyone if you're working or if you're a stay at home mom or if you are um a teenager who's you know in school or if you are in university no matter what life stage you are right now everybody is extremely busy because i think we, i call it the vata derange world right we live in a world where we are constantly on the go and where external demands are pushing you out of your limits and out of your comfort zone often and to perform you have to keep pushing yourself constantly right so that's what we are all doing so you have to fill up your tank 
right? So imagine a car, for a car to function, you have to make stops and keep fueling your car. Otherwise, the car is not going to drive till very far. So that's the importance of self-care, where you're taking time for yourself and really engaging in activities that fuel you rather than take away from you. That's the one main point I wanted to make, right? So self-care can look different for different people. For someone catching up on a few extra hours of sleep can be self-care. For somebody else going out in the nature can be self-care. For somebody else just sitting by themselves, just being with themselves can be self-care. Sometimes, you know, it can be going for a swim or a sauna or getting like a massage, right? So self-care looks differently for different people. Uh, nourishing yourself really well, cooking your favorite meals, making sure you're well fed, you're well rested is all a part of self-care routine. And what I mean by self-care routine is it has to be a habit and it has to be a part of your daily life. So if you want to take something away from this video, pick one thing and make it a part of your self-care routine for the next 90 days, right? I challenge you to the 90 day self-care challenge. So pick one small thing which absolutely fuels you, which centers you, which grounds you, which you absolutely love and follow it for the next 90 days, right? I have been meditating for over 90 days. I've been doing my prayers for, you know, not over 90 days, sorry, but I am on the 100 day challenge. So I'm on day now maybe 20 30 i don't I, I lost count but i've been extremely consistent with it no matter what i'll find 30 minutes for myself and i'll do my meditation and prayers every single day right so that's my challenge to myself for my emotional mental well-being um there is an amazing shloka or a verse from charak sahita which is one of the core texts of ayurveda and it's a beautiful verse which says that sarvam anya parityajit shariram anupalayit tad bhavohi bhavanam abhavo shariram, right? So leave everything aside and take care of your body because it is the only vehicle you have to live, right? If you don't have your body, you have nothing. The mind cannot exist on its own. The soul cannot exist or do any work without your body. So your body is the main vehicle, right? So it's the one that drives everything. So if your body is breaking down, you're not going to accomplish any of the goals. You're not going to be the best version of yourself. You're not going to show up for your family. You're not going to be able to be there for your kids or your pets or your family members or anybody that you love, right? So your body is the one main machine that is fueling all your ambitions and all your worldly desires, whether you want to make money or spread love or do whatever it is that you want to do in the world. But if you don't have your physical body, you're not going to be able to do anything, right? And physical body has to be kept in a good place as well, right? So taking care of yourself is extremely important. Tomorrow, I'll be hopping on to talk about a few radical ways of taking care of yourself, right? Um, and why self-care is not selfish is something I'm going to talk about tomorrow. I'll also be talking about some radical ways in which you can indulge in self-care and make it your priority. So if you love this video, please hit the like button or the love button below. And please share it with anyone that you know who needs to hear this. So if you know any of your friends who are burning themselves out and not taking care of themselves, please, you know, you can tag them in this video comments and make sure they see this video or you can share this video with your friends and family and ensure that they are taking care of themselves, right? When everybody takes better care of themselves, we can be a better community, we can be a better country and we can be a better earth as such, right? So empower everybody encourage everybody around you to take care of themselves empower them with self-care tools and please share this video with them i'll be hopping on tomorrow for another live and till then have a absolutely fabulous sunday and take some time to take care of yourself today i'll be switching off from social media for 12 hours that's my way of getting back to myself and indulging in self-care so um after 10 o'clock today in the morning, you know, I'm off all social media networks just to recuperate and regenerate. Um, 
and unless it's extremely important, I'm not going to tap into it. I have a few projects on the go. So please make sure you find time for yourself today and do one activity that fuels you, that recovers you, that restores your peace. Um, good luck. <laughs>